no problem <laughs> so um so angit uh, so that what i would like to uh, understand how you started the top mate yeah so uh, actually uh, we were doing other com- we were running another company before this me and my co-founder dinesh we both and uh, during this time we kind of faced this problem that we wanted to talk to a lot of people but we could not reach out to them it took us say about one and a half two months to get in touch with them two three touch points so when we wanted to pivot to a new idea we thought that uh, let's solve this type of problem because this is something that we faced and we started doing research about it and during our research we realized that the real problem is with the people who want to share the knowledge who want to offer their time because they are not able to kind of do it in a customizable format in a controlled manner and people need that kind of a uh, functionality or that kind of a control over their time right so that should be something that they were uh, in need for so we realized that these people they get a lot of requests and it's not like they don't want to talk to people it's not like that they don't want to uh, kind of uh, or hate talking to their community it's not like that it's just that if they open it up then it's like a mayhem uh, everyone will kind of start reaching out to them if they don't open it up then they are not able to control anything so that's how the idea came so we thought that let's build something around this we spoke to about 200 250 professionals uh, different different uh, areas different backgrounds so that's when we realize uh, that okay correct got it uh, ankit and uh, <clears throat> okay so i i'd like to tell a bit about how i started how i came to know about topmate yes uh is when i was probably uh, randomly scrolling through linkedin and uh, no uh, so my background is i am from a recruitment background uh so i have around 5 years of experience currently working with uh, ey and uh, uh i came across a post uh, from someone and uh, they had mentioned uh, about topmate so i thought why not let's let's give it a try so i was someone who is always looking for opportunities or you know such platforms and uh, the reason behind this is because uh, i get a lot of pings as i'm into recruitment from candidates you uh, know asking for jobs this that yes. so i thought if say if, if i probably register in such platform you no know, probably i could uh, connect with people on a deeper level using this and i'll be able to give my services as well and uh, i think the day i registered i got some 3 to 4 or Three to four calls on the first day itself, and I was like amazed. I was like, "Okay, this is working." And uh, the time I had registered, I was in a very bad condition. Uh, I didn't have any money. In fact, I got scammed at that time, and you know, I was looking for a side income desperately. And I think Topmate uh, saved my day or saved my month. So I am like a very big <laughs> fan of Topmate because of this. and uh, yeah after that uh, i think uh, it was november when i started november last year and i think it's been 6 months and i i i think completed around 50 calls already so that's a really good achievement for me and uh, getting inspiration from you uh, you know i also uh, saw your top mate profile i saw your pricing because i also wanted to understand uh, you know what is the price i could uh, you know put so i i saw you uh, pri- like ch- charging only around 100 to 200 yeah, so for for me see but for for me it's a different thing because obviously uh, i don't want to charge more i it's more about telling people about topmate so in your case usually the way it works is that uh, usually it's better to start with small pricing or low pricing correct because what happens is that through this you get to reach to a lot of people a lot okay. of people are able to kind of speak with you they become your brand ambassador now correct and they will give you feedback they will give you testimonials so that your profile will become strong and at the same time you will get these ratings you will get these number of booking sites right? so that's the way to start and then you can continue to increase prices a bit so correct. for example say suppose if you are charging 100 maybe you can do for some services 200 but maybe increase the duration by 5 minutes for example just to make them feel more valuable and this way you will be able to realize what kind of pricing suits you best in the long run correct Like, so so for example low pricing can lead to a lot of bookings but probably Correct. you don't want that right so uh, maybe you can decrease the uh, slots by one or two and just increase the prices so this way you can continue to build the brand but i think starting slow or starting with low pricing is the best way to proceed with this 
I, I totally resonate uh, that, Tankit. And uh, <clears throat> I, I started with 100, then I came to 200 now. And, uh, you know, I, I what I uh, observed is most of my connections are freshers or someone who's having probably, you could say, less than five years of experience. So most of the pings which I get uh, are fresher. So that's the reason I thought, you know, I'll keep a very nominal price. Yes. And uh, because I've, I've seen people uh, giving a higher price, I tried doing that for a while. I uh, thought the bookings would reduce, obviously, if I keep a higher price. And uh, again, I thought, no, I, I'll keep a very nominal price itself because even I'm someone who'd like to connect with people. I like to network. Yeah talk to people you know understand their stories and you know stuff like that give them feedback so so i had done that for a while i didn't get um, uh, many bookings so i came back to normal pricing and you know i i'm planning to continue that because i'm getting a really good experience here uh, you know doing that talking to a lot of people yes i mean it's a it's a great thing we also learn from them and so i think i always feel that we also get an opportunity to kind of speak with them learn from them so it's always good right right Ankit. definitely definitely and uh, <clears throat> okay i i just had uh, these three four questions but just randomly uh, you know i'm getting a few uh, questions out of nowhere yeah, yeah please is uh, you know as as i saw your profile you were from iit uh, you know, I, I'd like to understand, uh, you know, if, if you've seen any uh, observations or any differences between someone who's from an IIT and someone who's not from an IIT. What is their thinking or, you know? I think it's more about uh, <clears throat> the access to the network and the, uh, the examples that you see for yourself. Because usually what you do uh, in life also that uh, you have a... Uh, an idol, for example, or you want to kind of follow someone and you want to kind of relate to someone. But usually, so when we are very small kids, like in, in our childhood, we think that uh, the people who could be our idols are like Bill Gates, Sajin Tendulkar, right? Okay. But as you grow up, you realize that we cannot, not everyone can become these guys, right? So okay. they are like very, very difficult, but there's a part to it. So every point you will need a different kind of a uh, idol, for example. So so I think IITs kind of give you that, uh, in my opinion, that when you get into college, you see that uh, a two year senior from you, he's doing something amazing, right? So Correct. you get very confident just by looking at him because you think that if he can do it, I can also do it. And this is what happens in real life also, that people try to connect with those people who they relate to the most. Right. And that's where they learn the best. So so I think IITs is, is, is that way. It's a very good platform uh, in, in that manner. And then obviously, uh, because it's a very, very competitive exam when it comes to JE. Right? Right. So, uh, so these people, they have been able to crack something better than anyone else. So what Correct. happens to this is that they get a lot of confidence. Correct. So I think confidence matched with this network effect or, or the access to this network, it, it's really helpful. And then you see those examples, the ecosystem is like that. I think uh, uh, they kind of nurture each other. So so that way you kind of uh, get this kind of a benefit, so to say, right. by virtue of you being able to crack that exam, say, in 12th or, or after a drop. Right, right. Got it. Also, I, I, I believe that IAM, IITs give, give you that environment also. And I think environment is also uh, very important. What environment exactly. we are in. So I, I totally agree, uh, Ankit. Great. And uh, and yeah, I just just want to tell a few more things about, uh, you know, my uh, what, what's happening in my life currently. So so I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and, uh, you know, probably wanted to start something uh, probably on my own or with people. And, uh, you know, I've been trying that from a very long time. And uh, just last week, I thought, you know, things are not working out. I started a YouTube channel of my own. Though I know it, it would take a lot of time for me to, you know, uh, get there. But I just started off and I've challenged myself that I'll put at least 100 videos in 100 days, the next 100 days. So that it, it becomes a habit for me to, you know, probably keep posting stuff. 
and uh, for the same reason you know i thought probably i'll just record this session and probably put at least like one or two clips or videos out of these that way you know i would have my learning and i could share uh, some uh, thoughts with my audience yes uh, along with that i also have interest uh, in uh, making podcasts uh because i listen to a lot of podcasts and you know like to learn a lot a lot from uh, you know other people so this is my first experience talking to uh, you know a founder but uh, <laughs> my wish uh, you know my wish is to probably talk to uh, you know more founders like this probably make some podcasts mm-hmm. similar to uh, you know probably similar to this and uh, yeah that's that's what my uh, aim is and probably share content online so as i'm from recruitment background you know that's what i'm sharing i'm sharing uh, content related to recruitment i have just started mm-hmm. and i know i'll suck at it initially but <laughs> i am trying my best to you know try uh, new things uh, ankit so any, any i think it's a journey yeah, yeah i think it's a, it's a journey like you rightly mentioned so uh, starting you keep learning so i think that's the that should be the motive because i think that uh, if we if the focus is to keep learning and keep improving i think you will be able to reach anyone will be able to reach kind of uh, uh, the place that they want to uh, reach out so i think that is very important so even with content creation we keep talking to a lot of these creators a lot of these uh, professionals and and they all talk the same thing in terms of how they can improve is just about learning from the mistakes don't try to repeat them keep experimenting because sometimes what happens is that you don't know what is going to work right. so you don't know right so experiment is very important like right. for example in content creation it can be a completely very new type of video from your side and see how people are responding to it so i think uh, those things help you to kind of uh, grow in whichever industry in whichever field in whichever profession you are working on right <clears throat> got it ankit uh and uh, ankit uh, i'm not sure if this would be the right platform to ask but you know as me being an opportunist you know i always uh, probably ask people if there's something uh, on the terms of collaboration with them where you know we could collaborate and do something so i'd like to ask yeah definitely anything. yeah we keep doing that uh, so actually uh, amisha from my team she handles that she is the one who usually uh, takes up this responsibility so what i can do is i can uh, uh, let her know about this and sure, probably sure. she'll reach out to you we can connect again i think uh, and definitely i mean we we love to do that with our users we want to kind of uh, share our success in whichever format we can with them because it is because of them we have been able to kind of reach here right right sure ankit and uh, <clears throat> okay i i did not able to think of anything else but yeah i think there was one question another question is uh, you know as as i was uh, talking to you about the podcast so as as you were the first one whom you know i had this interaction with uh, are there any references whom you could give who and the people whom i could talk to who would help me or come to my podcast so uh, i think a lot of founders uh, keep doing that uh, right, right this is something that could be uh, good what i can do is i can uh, 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 share some profiles with you uh, sure. who are founders in my network you can basically reach out to them check with them sure sure definitely ankit i'll i'll do that sure sure and uh, i think yeah uh, these were a few things uh, ankit uh, you have anything else to share anything uh, any scope of improvement for me what do you think i have to follow in in my life or any suggestions you'd like to give me no i think uh, uh, you are doing amazing i mean uh, obviously uh, ups and downs keep coming this is the professional world and this is what our parents used to say that government job is better but i think the uh, private job has its perks and this is just that the part and parcel of the working i think so i mean uh, what you are doing and i think this this attitude this this thing that you have in mind that i'll have to keep doing something new i think this is just the best thing is like the first set of experiments that you do with yourself so i think uh, 
nothing from my side that way <laughs> you are doing amazing and if you can help in some way do let me know we can always keep connected and uh, whenever you need something uh, you can always ping me on linkedin or and schedule a meeting definitely thank you uh, ankit and uh, the uh, previous sentence which you uh, just said i could resonate with that uh regarding the you know uh, job government job and the private job i had uh, i'd seen this somewhere that i think people in the earlier generation gave more importance to the government job and then it became uh, the you know private companies and now it's become the startups yes i think that's that's what the uh, generation is and now i'm also someone who's probably looking to start something uh, on my own youtube has become one of them but we can't call it a startup yeah but uh, another uh, problem or another thing uh, uh, another uh, problem which i'm facing is you know i i'm able to easily uh, say get ideas but then execution i think is very much important which i was not able to do it uh, till uh, say a few weeks or few months back but then uh, you know i thought opening a company would require a lot of effort so i thought yes. i'll just start youtube and probably top mate and uh, uh, try to explore uh, my uh, say horizon look at people try to collaborate with them you know ask them for ideas or probably brainstorm together so <clears throat> so i've started doing that and uh, i'm trying to connect with people on on those terms uh, Ankit, like I said, for collaboration. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a good thing, and and, and brainstorming is always good. Obviously, before starting anything, you should definitely uh, do a lot of research. I think that's the right way. Uh, so, yeah. Right, right. Also, Ankit, do you read books? Do you have any suggestions for books? Yeah. So, uh, I've read uh, Atomic Habits. And that's a good book. Uh, I've read. Uh, hacking growth uh, and then for the startups for the founders i think 0 to 1 24 steps to a successful startup or, or entrepreneurship i think these are very good books that help you to kind of uh, structure your thought process when you are thinking of starting up something right i in fact had uh, these two books one is 0 to 1 and the lean startup these two books yes uh but i've not got an opportunity to fully read them because i was pursuing my mba till december uh, jan uh, this year so i couldn't get much time there so i'm planning to probably start this off again because i was someone no, i think that right so i was someone who liked reading a lot and again this uh reading uh, came out of nowhere because in school college i was someone who hated uh, reading and uh, out of nowhere probably uh, say 4 5 years back you know i randomly clicked on a youtube video which uh, said that uh, you know all the successful people read books and i think from that time until now you know i've i haven't stopped and i try i'm trying my best to read some of the other book i download some book even if i don't complete it i'll just read 5 10 pages or 10 to 20 pages but i make sure i read something though i do i haven't completed most of the books like fully but i think hmm. uh, that has helped me improve my communication skills and i've seen myself grow i was jobless after my graduation for 2 years i couldn't crack interviews at all and uh, i got an opportunity to work in one of the recruitment firms and uh, i think from there i got some confidence and then i worked in some uh, bigger consultancy bigger uh, recruitment firm then i started aiming you know even more bigger companies it companies then i worked with accenture then i worked with ey right now and now i have plans to start something on my own that's that's my journey uh, ankit no i think mean, right. that's great and i think uh, books are really helpful that yes right right sure ankit so i think that's that's about uh, me ankit i think i'm i'm uh, probably i i don't usually talk so much uh, i'm more of a listener and observer but i don't know i'm talking to you uh, i think i'm talking more uh, this time i know it's no probably problem. out of excitement <laughs> no problem yeah right right great man so uh, right, let's right. stay connected and and 
whenever you need something please uh, let sure, me know sure sure definitely ankit i'll i'll do that thank you so much yeah. uh...